Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about Katriniona Ward's uh, book, Sundial. This is a follow-up to her incredible book, um, The Last House on Needless Street, which I cannot recommend highly enough. And I've been become a little annoying, I think, uh, all the people I've told about it. Uh, so I was excited to read Sundial. But I will say that I was not in love with this book. Uh, it's a, the story about Rob, a mother who starts noticing some strange behaviors in her daughter Callie, who she's always had a hard time uh, being connected to. And there's a little bit of a tug and pull with her husband Irving over the, the affections of this child. And her second child is more her child and Callie is more of her husband's. Well, she takes Callie out to her ancestral home uh, in Sundial to try to kind of find out what's going on with her and reveal some of her own past to her daughter so that her daughter can understand how some of these behaviors that she's had are not appropriate and how she can, you know, work through them because of the trauma that Rob has experienced in her life. Uh, the, the reason why I really didn't like this book is I felt like it, it piled on way too much. Uh, there is child abuse, there is animal abuse, there is spousal abuse, there's most emotional abuse, physical abuse, um, and there are a lot of things that, that start piling in, like I said, that just really make it uh, um, unredemptive to me. And in addition, I felt like even though uh, Ward, she, she creates tension from the get-go and she's an extremely good writer and the way that she describes things is really enjoyable to go through. But as she told this story and she starts opening up, you know, or revealing uh, the past and how these things played out, it got to the point where it was just too much and even the the final reveal was no surprise I felt like it was implied much earlier on in the story anyway and then the the characters I didn't feel really acted appropriately in the circumstances that they found themselves in and then finally the the husband Irving he is an absolutely one-dimensional character and reading reviews from other people, it kind of surprises me how many people enjoy this book. And the only thing that I can really think of is that because there's an aspect of this wife fleeing this husband, this abusive husband. Um, and so I, that's the only thing that I can think of because everything else to me takes a lot of these circumstances overboard. And like I said, I don't find that the characters are particularly believable. Uh, I think Kaylee or Callie is the most interesting because of her playdates, her imagination, the way that she uh, kind of views the world and the way that she is able to get through the things that she gets through. But at the same time, there's certain behaviors, you know, from every single character that are just not um, believable to me. So I would not say that this is the book that you want to read. If you like that psychological thriller, that, you know, the, sort of the dark story that happens with people's lives and some of the effects that trauma creates and creates the character, Last House on Needless Street is the one to go to. That one is phenomenal. It also has some um, child abuse and other abuse that happens within the story, but it's in, in a way that a lot of it is off screen and it's dealing more with the effects that that has created. So that's really about it. Uh, Ward's a great writer. This is not the book that you want to read. Until next time, have a good day.